Weekend violence at a Grand Rapids landmark. Four people shot on the Blue Bridge early Sunday morning. Fox 17's Lauren Edwards talked to the city's police chief today about that shooting and Lauren how the department is going to respond now and in the weeks to come. Doug and Jamie, you know, another mass shooting happening downtown uh, Grand Rapids, this time on the Blue Bridge, four people injured in that shooting. And the police say, you know what, they understand that it's going to be a top priority right now, safety, and that's something that they are considering, especially with our prize beginning this week. Yeah, there is going to be a ton of foot traffic. This is my first art prize, so I'm excited to go and check it out. And um, the Grand Rapids Police Department has a lot of experience uh, um, attending. It'll be my first. Safety, a top concern heading into this year's Art Prize. This was the scene after a shooting occurred on the Blue Bridge early Sunday morning. I would describe it as an impromptu illegal party. And what it is, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, and uh, this group pretty much took over the Blue Bridge. Chief Eric Winstrom says activity actually began Friday night into Saturday morning. A large crowd gathered on the Blue Bridge. There was a DJ and lots of drinking. Police arrived, arrested one person, and cleared the scene. Then it happened again the following night, except this time shots were fired. It's preliminary in nature, the investigation, but we believe the, the shooting was on the east side of the bridge. Uh, the officers did hear the hear the gunshots and were very close. Four people were shot and suffered non-life threatening injuries. A few people were arrested and vehicles were towed because they were illegally parked. With Art Prize happening in just a few days, he says GRPD is prepared for anything. We do have a plan for it and what you're going to see is a lot more police presence downtown in the area of our prize. There will be an increased foot patrol for the two week event that's expected to draw in thousands of people. Keep aware of your surroundings is the most important thing. And as for the Blue Bridge, police are discussing now how best to keep people safe at night when in that area. Uh, three in the morning, I don't think we'd have that much objection if we if we close it uh, during those hours. So it's a possibility, but we're working through just to make sure that if there are other options to keep the people of Grand Rapids safe, that we, we take them. So the investigation is ongoing and police are asking anyone with tips to please reach out to them or the silent observer. And again, as we said, our prize begins this week and goes on until October 2nd. Reporting live here in the control room, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.